meteorologist Ron Rhodes. All right, it's 1219. A lot of sunshine out there so far today. We're going to see less and less of that sunshine, though, as we go through the afternoon. Yesterday, we topped out at 64. We've already bettered that. Of course, we had a warmer start today with those clouds that kind of rolled in early. Then we got plenty of sunshine mid to late morning and early afternoon. We still have it. And those temperatures have really responded as a result. And we're looking right now at our MCF construction camera there at Deaconess Gateway. And the flag is fluttering in the breeze. We're going to notice that wind from the south at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And as we look at our Kincaid camera downtown Owensboro, really a pretty sight here. Now, the river is falling currently on the Ohio. It is going to be bouncing back up with all the rain we're going to be getting over the next couple of days, not just here, but also upriver. It is going to make it rise. It looks like right now that the river in Evansville is going to be cresting uh, later on this week into next next week at about 35 feet, so below flood stage. You can see the Kincaid camera rocking a little bit from that wind that's already starting to pick up. That's, of course, the strip in Henderson, Highway 41. It's basking with some sunshine. You can see the buildings off in the distance there downtown Evansville. These are not so much off in the distance, right in front of us. That's our Zemer camera there at Fifth Third Bank, looking out toward the west side of town in downtown Evansville in all its glory. As we take a look at the numbers at the airport, love this, 66 degrees, wind is currently calm. That is not going to be the case for most of the rest of the day, though. The wind is going to be picking up again south at around 10 to 20. Check it out, another 70 on the board. In fact, another couple of 70s. 70 in Tell City could go along with Madisonville and Calhoun. 67 in Princeton, 68 Henderson, 69 in Owensboro, knocking on the door to 70, and so is Dixon at 69 degrees, too. All right, we're going to give a big shout-out. Today is International Golden Retriever Day. I got a couple of good looking dogs here to show you. This is Rocky right here. It's a good looking dog. Tom Snell's dog. And then we've got Trina Messamore. This is her dog, Crockett, on Golden Retriever Day. So celebrate the Golden Retriever and celebrate this. Let me step aside so you can see it all. This is from Jackie Fleener, a Bremen Sunrise. Lovely shot right there. It really was a delightful looking sky. And I saw good looking pictures from Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, so all across the tri state. We just had a lovely sunrise this morning. After a beautiful day yesterday, we deserved it. Okay, we're going to have a lot of clouds to go through the rest of the week. All right, this is a good one, too. Three, two, one. Funky fruit. Today's funky fruit, okra ear. There is the ear right there. There's the ear hole. Looks like a little bit of ear wax, too, to go along with it. But you don't get a whole lot of funky okras. Got one right there. As we take a look at our live first warning Doppler radar, a little bit of rain already starting to pop up along the Mississippi River on the other side of southern Illinois. We might see a couple of showers pop up later this afternoon in Illinois. I think it's going to be closer to the Mississippi River. And we could see a little bit of rain, too, popping up early evening, again, mainly to the west of the Wabash. One batch of clouds moving through. Now we've got a pretty good break here in the tri-state. Here comes another batch of clouds moving through Missouri, and we're going to start to see those clouds thicken up as we go through the afternoon. Future Tracker shows that. There goes our break as clouds kind of nose their way back in by mid-afternoon. A lot of clouds for a lot of us. And still a few breaks up to the northeast, but really, before the sun goes down, it's setting after 5 o'clock these days. We're going to be having a pretty much an overcast sky for all of us. Here we are at 6. Still no rain yet, but a few showers might crop up in the early evening. And now the latest run on our future tracker indicates it could be in southwest windy Indiana as well as southeast Illinois. But really, we're all going to be inundated with rain. Overnight really begins around midnight, and then throughout the day tomorrow, we are talking about wave after wave of rain come pouring in, and we're going to be seeing heavy rain at times. We could be seeing some flooding out there as well on the streets, certainly some ponding of water on the roads. And the morning commute, the afternoon commute, <laughs> if you're driving late at night tomorrow, you got plenty of rain. It finally starts to taper off, though, as we head into Wednesday, but not before a solid soaking. And I'm talking about one to two inches plus. We could see some areas, especially down in western Kentucky, seeing better than three inches of rain. And that's mainly going to be tomorrow. So it's a whole lot of rain in a short period of time. Well, mid to upper 60s, enjoy this afternoon, even though we are going to have more clouds as we go through the afternoon. South wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And we are going to be noticing, too, uh, the temperatures cooling off tomorrow. A lot of rain in store for us. At least it's not going to be a cold rain, but chilly enough with temperatures all day long in the 50s, starting in the mid-50s, really upper 50s is all we can muster. And then temperatures really take a plunge. So wind's going to shift to the northwest, and it is going to be breezy over the next couple of days. 42 for a high on Wednesday. We could be seeing a little rain-snow mix on Thursday, and a high of only 39 degrees. But wait, it gets colder. 38 on Friday. Gretchen, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. No, now, Punxsutawney Phil, mm -hmm. he did not see a shadow early right. spring, right? And you you're said earlier you're not going to be thinking early spring on I know. Thursday and Friday. You said earlier you thought it was more than 20 times, but it was 20. Did you? Do you have the records to show? Mike Payne <laughs> told us that our producer. 134 I believe. 134 years of records, and you're telling me only 20 cloudy days in Pennsylvania. I don't know. Head of the day next. I don't All see right. it.